Hey everybody! So I wanted to do something different. I haven't done videos in forever. Um, so I haven't posted anything um, in years on YouTube. And I recently posted something on Instagram about the Curl Smith um, hair gels. And I was like, hey, I, I kind of like doing that. So let me get back into doing these videos. Not that anybody's going to see them, but here you go. Um, so, um... I wanted this video to focus on um, a purchase that I did at uh, Beauty Creations and um, I had seen a few different like palettes and some other items um, on some different people's channels and uh, on Instagram and I kind of wanted to just buy some and see if I like the quality and you know kind of start using them um a lot of the palettes had really really nice colors and so i was interested so you know i uh love makeup so um i bought a couple things so let's see um i guess i can start with um the beauty creations um floral blush so I like the packaging just because it seems very, very soft and uh, girly. <laughs> um, but the packaging is very, very nice. I, I don't, I like that it's not bulky. You know, like sometimes um, you have those, you know, designer packagings that are like very, very big and they just take up space in your like makeup drawer and all that. So um, this is the floral blush, blush palette, and that's what it looks like it has a lot of pinks and peaches um, and this one that's kind of like uh, a reddish orange um, color and then you have your lighter ones over here that are more peachy and then you got like these two that are like the pinks so very nice colors I can see myself using probably the pinks and the peaches, not so much that one because it's very, very light, um, or that one because it's just really dark. So, uh, let's see. They don't even have their their names on the back or anything like that, so I can't tell you the names. But um, if you go to Beauty Creations, um, the Facebook page, um, or their website beautycreations.com you can probably see um, the names of them uh, okay so the next thing that I want to share with you are the palettes so first one I got was the Elsa palette and I'm guessing they went with a theme a frozen theme because they have Elsa plus they have um, Anna I'll take that one out of the bubbles later um, so this one is the Elsa one, oh. and when you first open it, um, it looks very, very colorful. Um, I like the fact that it has your, your browns, your neutral tones, warm colors, and then it also has, you know, like cool colors, your blues and your greens, um, some purples um so i really enjoy this palette because i usually tend to um either do a very natural look or a, a, a like a smoky natural look or i tend to do the blues and the purples and the turquoise and greens and stuff so i really like this palette just because it's the color that you know like the colors that i use the most um so yeah um, some of them are flat, like matte, others are, they look satin, there isn't any glitter, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, swatch a few of them and, and put, put pictures up so you can see, um, how they look like, but I'm excited, I'm going to use this one pretty soon, um. 
All right, give me one second and I will open your next one, which is the Anna palette, the sister palette. So it looks like that. And again, I really like the fact that they're not bulky, you know, like they're thin. Because um, the last thing I uh, I like is that um, I can't fit them in my drawer or they're just too big, um, you know. So this one I absolutely love just because I love bright colors. And this is what this one looks like. So there's an array of... I don't want to say neutral tones, but there's a lot of lighter colors like up here and then towards the bottom they get a little bit more darker and warmer. But these are just like an array of kind of like fun pop colors, you know, like you got your purples, you have a green, a blue, but you have a lot more pinks um, and oranges tones. So I really, really like this one. Again, it looks like the other one where there's a few, like it's it's divided into mattes and satins. Um, there isn't any glitter colors. Not that I want any glitter colors because I don't really like glitter shadows. Um, the fallout usually uh, annoys me when I'm putting it on, but hey, there's people who like it. So to each their own, right? All right, the next one is... Alicia and uh, I mean I'm not sure what the theme is but for me it looks like an Alice in Wonderland theme so they just probably just changed the name to Alicia but if you look at it there's the hearts the spades you know like the deck of cards symbols uh, the diamonds the clover and then you got the the tea uh, the teacups and then the clock you know, um, so I really feel like they, they were they were going for an Alice in Wonderland thing, which is kind of cool. Um, when opening it up, ah, again, it looks um, very similar to the Anna as far as like the pop of color, but there is less neutral tones. Well, there is no neutral tones in this one, whereas in the other one, there was some neutral tones. Um, so here, this it's kind of like a rainbow palette, and I love it, um, just because it has tons of greens and yellows and purples and turquoise. I think this one has more greens than the other ones. Um, again, it doesn't have um, any glitters. Well, I mean, the black one looks a little glittery, but for the most part, that's probably the only one. Everything else looks satin and matte. So this is your Alicia palette. And then I got two more items. Well, three, I guess you can count the samples as a third item. But I got the banana setting powder. And this is good when you're, you know, like baking your, your face in different areas, under your eyes, and, you know, like underneath your cheekbones. Um, so I haven't tried it. Um, it says banana setting spray, so I mean setting powder. So I really hope that it doesn't smell like bananas because I don't like bananas. But we'll see. I haven't opened it yet. Then I got the, it's a, what was it called? It's a set, um, but it's kind of like a, the underlying uh, products that you use before applying your makeup. So it's the Prep Set Go set. Um, so it has the little sponge, the makeup sponge. Um, and then you have your, uh, your Flawless Stay Setting Spray. Then you have your poreless primer. Then you have a hydrating primer. And then you have a primer stick that's matte, which is cool. So I'm, I'm excited to use this one. Um, but the packaging is really, really cute. Um, when you open it, the sponge feels like if it was a beauty blender. Um, 
I don't know if it does the job exactly the same, but we'll see. Make sure you get it wet, you know, it gets a little bit softer. But I do like the fact that it has the normal egg shape, right? Um, the bottom of it is a little bit more flat than your regular blender, uh, just because that one's more round. Um, and then you have that it's, it has a, um, it's kind of like cut on a slant on the back of it. So when you're trying to like do the, you're baking certain areas, you have that nice crisp line. So I'm very excited to use this uh, sponge. Um, let's see if I can take this out of this package. For the primer stick, Smells good. Um, I'll just put it on my hand. It feels nice. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel um, sticky. Um, primer stick doesn't say anything else, but it does make your skin matte, which is what it said because it was a matte. <laughs> primer um the other one is a hydrating primer like i said so it's a fresh oil free dewy finish um and that one is a pump so you just pump it out then the other one is the flawless stay poreless primer smooths and refines pores and it's semi matte and again it's also a, a pump and uh, the setting spray is for all skin types and let's see i'm gonna it smells good it doesn't have a, a a bad scent to it and it sprays evenly um with a fine mist which is really really good so i'm actually impressed with this um i guess the next time i wear my makeup i will try the primers um, and use a sponge but other than that it's very um, it's a very nice package for the price it was very affordable for all of those um, and let's see I also got four samples of their foundation because I didn't want to just buy the whole bottle and then not be able to match my tone my, my, my uh, color so I got um, FS 3.1, 3.5, 4.0, and 4.5. So they're nice. They give you a good amount that you can try on to see if you can match your color. Um, so the next order will probably be me getting, if I like it, um, getting the foundation. And... I'm probably going to be getting these. So these are the um, the Dare to Be Bright eyeliners. Um, they they have six bright shades, and for one it is four dollars, and for the set uh, it is twenty. So there's six colors. As you can see, it's hot pink, purple, orange, blue green and I don't know if it's a lime green or if it's a yellow but you know more than likely it's probably like a yellow um so I'm gonna try to buy that um I think that's pretty much it um so yeah so I'm gonna go swatch some of these uh palettes and I'll post some pictures um, but I really enjoyed doing some of these videos, or at least this video. Um, I think I'm going to get back to doing that. And if you like it, let me know. Um, if there's something that you want me to, I don't know, review or kind of talk about, then I will do that. Um, I think the next video that I'm going to do is probably like, a, an apartment tour, uh, just cause I moved a few months ago and, you know, things are coming together finally, as far as like furniture and decorating. So I'm excited, um, to show that off. All right. Take care. Bye.